Okay. This is Neville Douglas from Ashanti Dutch Property Letting. It is the 20th of October 2015. Um, right, we're back on this scheme in handling Stoke on Trent. Um, it's getting close to completion, so we're just going to have a, a quick wander around the building and, uh, you know, have a look. We've got two support workers coming today as well to have a look. So, sorry, I'm just adjusting the lens. They're coming around to have a look. So, we're going to have to. Uh, two of the people that we said that are going to be working with us uh, and, and looking after the scheme uh, they're coming to view the site in about say 15 or 20 minutes so this is going to be a quick tour and uh, the, the electricity isn't on yet but it, it will be soon the paint and decorators are in and the kitchen units are being fitted um, so it's not far off really so uh, I'll see you in a few moments da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. So what we're going to do is we're coming in through the entrance, we're going to go into the, uh, the flats on the ground floor, um, there is a radio on so I'm not going to say much, um, as you can see the doors are all gone in place, this is going to be kitchen, it's all coming up because it's being painted at the moment, and this is one of the flats, this is on the ground floor, um, oh the west is it, okay fair enough thank you. Right, um, the gloss is still wet on the doors. This is one of the, the bathrooms that have been done, so it's a nice size. Shower room, sorry, they didn't have baths in this place. Um, so this is going to be a studio flat. Thanks a lot for that. Moving back into the, the entrance in the main hall. Um, so as we come through, we've got another flat on the left hand side. Bathroom, obviously. Shower room in here. I might have to put my torch on on some of these because the power isn't on yet. So there you go. So that's the shower room again. That's flat number two. This is the. Obviously, this is the kitchen. I can switch this off now. Got all the smoke detectors, fire alarms in place. There's still some work to be done. Still some second fixing electrics to be done. Um, that there is where the main gas supply is coming in. So you can see that hasn't been done yet. Uh, moving around out of this flat, we go to back into the hallway. Um, this is the offices. So this is where the ladies will be, or gentlemen will be. Um, nice size for them. And this is the toilet, and there's gonna be a laundry room in here as well. So you've got a sink, washroom, or a sink as such, and the toilet. And this is where the washing machines and such are going to be. Coming to the right hand side, this is another flat on the ground floor. Uh, a little bit darker, but it's still a nice flat. We don't have quite a lot of light in here as well. Um, once again, we have the shower room. Another fitted kitchen done. There's another apartment. I'll switch my lights off now. And uh, beautiful. It's just a nice, nice clean apartment. I'll give you a shot from the rear as we look in. So, this is a shower room. Just gonna have a check where the radiator is. Okay, so, just having a look around. No running water. Ah, radiator behind the door. Hmm, interesting. How is that going to work? I suppose I'll have to put a door stop there, but you know, no big deal. Could you visit it there? There's a possibility it could have gone there, but you know, um, it is where it is and that's it now. So, uh, hmm. The only reason I say that is because once you have a, a door stop here, say for instance, or anywhere here, it's going to cause a fulcrum point. So the door can pivot, depending on where you put the door stop, if you put it there, um, you're going to have a fulcrum point. And what happens is it'll start to force the hinges. I think... No, that's okay, I wasn't sure if the bottom of the door... There's a, there's a block that runs in the bottom of the door, and I wasn't sure if that had gone. But uh, I should edit this bit out anyway. So, I have to keep it out and things like that, because when you have a radiator behind the door and it gets banged, if the door stop gets removed, then what you might find is that 
uh, you get a little bit of a leak. So we'll have to uh, keep an eye on that and see what happens. So that's another one. Um, really, it's behind the door again. So you've got everything there. Uh, <laughs> another one behind the door. This is quite interesting. I think this is something uh, in future when you're looking at planning these things. Uh, from my personal point of view as well, I shall ensure that uh, the radiators do not go behind the door. Um, I suppose it could have gone on this wall here. It's about the same size. Yep, that could have gone there. Um, or it could have gone on the wall over there, say for instance, and uh, that socket could have been moved. But I suppose this is going to be the bedroom area, so okay, you've got the bedroom area there, you've got that area, it's going to be like the bedroom stroke living area, and then you've got the um, obviously the kitchen area here. So that radiator could have gone on that wall because there is a radiator on the back side of that wall so it could have gone there but it's a bit late now to change it let's go through to the other rooms upstairs radiator in here which is the kitchen this is a nice one they're all nice um shower here again we've got the door opening onto the to the shower. Um, I suppose in hindsight you could have had the door opening outwards coming this way and you would have avoided banging into the shower. Uh, but then some would argue that the door opening inwards is going to be better because um, you're not taking the space here and if you're cooking here someone might open the door and could hit you with uh, if you've got a pot and pan or something in your hand so yep uh, shower we've got another really two radiators in here so one over there one over there so this is like the bedroom um, come living area one thing I haven't seen is any um, aerials for the TV so uh, finally up onto the top floor well, we've got two more apartments and that this will conclude the tour got one another one bedroom apartment up here this is quite nice and airy as the estate agents would say um, Bedroom area, kitchen area, quite straightforward. Separate shower room again in here. This is quite a large one actually. This is nice. So uh, that's it. That one's been done. Oops. Background to the last apartment. This has just been a second place, to be speaking. Uh, bathroom's drying. And uh, that's about it, really. There we go. Kitchen hasn't gone in. Bathroom suites has been fitted. The shower's been fitted. It's all right. It's all right. No, you're all right. So that's all been done. Um, and that's it. So we've wandered around and had a look. It's not far off this one. So this is Neville Douglas on the 15th of October 2000. And no, it's not. It's the 21st. So this is Neville Douglas on the 22nd of October 2015, signing off. Thank you.